Painting furniture is not a crime. I enjoy painting furniture. However, painting furniture carelessly is a different story. Thank you Birch Living for sponsoring this video. In this video, I'll share an incredible story while I remove the purple chalk paint from this vintage cedar chest. One of these chests is full and the other has only a few items. While I restore this vintage painted cedar chest, I'll remove the items from the other chest and share a story about two brave men, two incredible women, and two completely different cedar chests. Every furniture piece has its own unique story, and this is how I imagine the story being told for many of these vintage hope chests. I decided to change the order for this video, so before I start the story on this particular piece, I decided to start the restoration. I'll start by showing all of the products I'll be using for the paint stripping process. All of the products being used in this video will be listed in the video description. For most projects, I consider using a carbide scraper to scrape the old finishes before applying any paint stripper. With this waterfall style hope chest, I would assume that the veneer is multi-directional and for that reason, I would potentially damage the veneer by using a carbide scraper. What I enjoy the most about these vintage and antique furniture restorations is the ability to have a platform like YouTube to be able to share these stories the way I imagine them and to hopefully take the facts that I do know about these pieces and put together a story that helps others appreciate this furniture the way that I do. The golden era of the 20th century was a time roughly from the 1910s to the 1960s, a time that represented happiness prosperity, and achievement. Some of those stories are still told by those who lived them, but with each passing day, the memories are often captured and reflected in the vintage furniture pieces and other items that we have in our homes. The golden hour is an even shorter amount of time. It's a series of moments where the setting or the rising sun glistens through the trees, reflecting light onto everyday things, giving us even just for a moment, a unique perspective. These are moments of joy that we try to capture, to share with others. With modern technology, sharing these moments is much easier. If only there was a way to capture these moments during the golden era, a place to store them for future generations. The hope chest, cedar chest, memory box, memory chest. This is an idea that's been around for centuries. I'll move on to the most rewarding part of most of these restoration projects, but I wouldn't be able to make this content without sponsors. So thank you Birch Living for sponsoring this video. I spend a lot of time in my videos talking about physical and mental health, and Birch Living is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally conscious. Their non-toxic mattresses are made right here in America and are crafted with organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced. Birch Lux takes the comfort, luxury, and safety of the original Birch mattress to the next level, crafted with eight different layers of organic cashmere, organic wool, organic cotton, and 100% natural latex. It is specially created with breathability, cooling, and support in mind and offers increased airflow and targeted zoned lumbar support. So as the weather gets warmer this summer, the breathability of the natural materials keeps me cool and comfortable while I sleep. Each birch mattress comes with two EcoRest pillows made from recycled water bottles. I've had my Birch Lux mattress for several weeks now and I love it. I think you would too. So if you're looking for a new bed, check out Birch. You can click the link below or go to birchliving.com forward slash mad city for $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows.
In order to tell this story, I pulled the first items from this cedar chest, a Life magazine from September of 1941, where I'll find a version of an ad that at one point both men in this story would see. Following World War I, the Virginia-based Lane Company applied the same techniques that it used to build pine ammunition boxes during the war to then build cedar hope chests. A hope chest was a trunk that held a girl's bed linens, clothing, and other personal and practical items that a young woman would need when she married. Due to its notorious scented natural oils, cedar was chosen to help protect the chest contents from, you guessed it, Lane targeted their marketing campaign towards graduating high school women, advertising this Lane Sweetheart Cedar Chest as a start to a new home. And during the early to mid 20th century, this would introduce them to the Lane name just at the age when many of them were likely to become brides. The mini chest was a reminder to women that one day they could have the full size version when they would marry and have a home of their own. You may be watching this video wondering how a furniture flip like this could be flipped for a profit, and the truth is, it probably won't. There are still millions of cedar chests around today, and for that reason, they don't really sell well. Some may be considered to be worthless, others priceless. My hope is that this restoration will keep this chest from the landfill. As an average person, I'm grateful for a platform like YouTube to continue creating content like this. And if I'm able to earn ad revenue on YouTube by making videos like this, I'm able to keep the lights on. And for that reason, I'm able to take my time and continue enjoying furniture restorations like this. To remove the last of the paint stripper, I'll use afterwash or mineral spirits with a Scotch-Brite pad or fine steel wool. Although most of this is veneer, I'll then move on to scraping with the carbide scraper now that I know the direction of the wood grain. For the next several hours, I'll continue scraping the old finishes and sand with 150 grit sandpaper in preparation for the new finishes. As for the men in this story, both were recent high school graduates who enlisted in the United States military in the midst of a world war in the early 1940s. Both men would purchase hope chests for their soon-to-be wives. It was a promise that they would soon return home from the war and start a new home together. The first man would purchase a Lane Cedar chest and we know that this specific cedar chest was manufactured in October of 1964. For the sake of this story, we'll refer to a cedar chest purchased during the early 1940s. The second man would purchase an Ed Roos cedar chest from the same era. Like many soldiers, the first man traveled overseas by ship and was able to take many photos along the way. 
something he would continue to do well beyond his years of military service. The first man and his wife would go on to have many children, grandchildren, and even great-grandchildren. For the final finishes, I chose perhaps the easiest and most rewarding finish to apply, and that is Rubio Monocoat Hard Wax Oil. I'll mix this three to one, three parts Rubio, one part Accelerator. I'll then apply this using the soft scraper provided, as well as a non-abrasive applicator pad. If you're new to the channel and you feel that I've earned your subscription, please consider hitting that thumbs up, hitting the subscribe button, and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any new content on this channel. And for the loyal subscribers, thank you for all your continued support. As for the second man, he would never return home, and the cedar chests would soon be neglected, passed around from thrift store to thrift store, eventually painted, and shortly after, completely neglected. We've all lost loved ones, but hopefully the wonderful memories of them will continue to live on.